Coach Brad, can you put like a C R A C K E D across the screen right now? Cracked. This is the walk where dreams are created. Hole one, where it all started. Of course, I learned how to play disc golf on Devon's the Hill. And this is a special day for one specific reason. I have played here thousands of rounds. Simon has played here once without me. So, first time ever, Simon and I are gonna be playing the course that I learned how to play disc golf on in 2012. Your home course. My home course, not the course at my house but my local course, and it's a doozy. You should crush me in this one. Well, that's why we have a little bit of an extra uh, game here. We're doing a three disc challenge today because I thought it would be a cool idea. Back in 2019, my local league here at Devon's decided for one week we were just gonna do a three disc challenge. Everybody who came to league only did three discs, and in that month, I couldn't beat a 49. I was shooting a 49 every round, which is not a bad round, but I couldn't do better. And then I showed up and played with three discs and shot a 49 again. And I was like, why do I carry 20 discs when I just can do the same thing with three? And maybe this is a breakthrough right now. I bet on the Pro Tour, if everyone just had three discs, scores wouldn't change that much. Scores wouldn't change that much, yeah. You just get to know that one disc insanely well. But yeah. anyway. All right, Simon, what's in the bag? Okay, uh, three discs. I feel very limited. Tesla. Tesla. Hex. Straight fairway. Hex. Straight mid range. Yep. And anode for putts. And putting putter. Okay. I've got FD1, favorite. New hard tactic. Shout out to Colin Bailey. I've been I was using this one at Tiki. I really really like it. And my throwing putter. So, not always the typical lineup I would go with for a three disc round. I'd typically choose a mid range. However. Sidearm tactic is one of my go-tos on this course, and I'm, I'm, trying, to, starts. I'm trying to work the XO hard in the bag. Simon's flipping to Pay see who tails. starts. Tails! It is that tails. That is tails. All right. You choose. You choose. I'll go. Hole well, one is 205 feet. A little bit of turn. Oh, that picture gets much better once it zooms in. All right. Tester. We're in for a fun one today. This is like TG golf right here. Kind of. Oh, he's going hex ace to start. Off the tree. Oh, Simon. Oh, the line of dreams. Wow. I've seen that tree get hit many times, and every single time I've called for the tree off the tree ace. It's probably the closest one I've seen. That line was deadly. I hold the unofficial course record here for a casual round at 14 under 40. Damn. And I started with an ace on hole one. So, Simon, you have no idea what could have happened if that one would have dropped in, but he's basically parked and I got a putt to make. Hole one, there needs to be a plane. Ooh, double plane. It's nice to take a hike, get out. Wow, good start, fresh out the car, 30 footer. I'm basically parked, yeah. All right, hole two is a shorty, if I remember right. For a 135 foot hole that I've played Almost a thousand times. It's almost embarrassing that I've only aced it once. Yeah, there's a shorty. Right Maybe. there. How about twice? How about twice, Simon? Oh, how did that miss? All right, all right, that's good, that's good. Something to help him. Probably park, not great though. For birdie. Alright, Nick Sim. Let's go. It's not a gimme. Not a gimme. Especially when it's an easy hole. Nice putt. Tied up. Two down through two. And if you're wondering why we're lugging around our heavy bags, even though we're only carrying three discs, it's specifically for water. No discs. This hole is really weird. You can't really. It's almost like a par four. You want to play it like a par four, but all the holes are par three. No. No love. Okay. I think that guarantees me a three and maybe a putt for two. 
This is a controversial choice. Usually the non-locals are the only ones that think this is a good idea. It's up. And it's down, and it sounded somewhere near the basket. The basket is somewhere behind 80 trees. I can see the orange flag. Oh, oh, I see it too, okay. So if see if I can zoom into that. Right there, wow. If we're ever at a course on tour and people say, oh, there's no line on this hole. Well, this is what I grew up playing, so I always see a line. <laughs> More air than trees is the famous saying that actually makes no sense. <gasps> oh, the blow up. <laughs> All right, that's better. I can say bogey. Basket is somewhere behind that big boulder. I see the flag again right here. Yeah. So there's a line that way or that way. Two options. He's choosing left gap. Don't hit it. He hits the Fine. gap and he hit the. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You're so positive today. Always. Always. All right, there's the basket. I just came from down there. Simon's lucky over the top. Lucky? Pretty good. And then I'm barely inside the circle putting for bogey. Potential three stroke swing. Oh no, Simon. Oh, it's a tricky one too. Oh geez, I didn't know that. Oh, he got linked. Whoopsie. That was not supposed to happen. Buddy. That was a perfect spin out height. That is a really good two. Without some sort of minor throw in from the bottom of the hill, pro. Well, I'm coming for a course record. On pace, I was three down through three with an ace. So he's three down through three with birdies. That's, if anybody's played here, they know that's really good. All right, hole four, basket, just up and over a couple of little rock ledges. Simon going forehand. His forehand has been very good in recent history. Better than it's ever been. Kiss the rock. Deep. Birdie putt. Let's see if Casey can. Oh. Oh. Turned it over. Good kick. All the right. strength not used. A little too much aim. Slight. This is an iconic spot. Yep. Up and over the rock. Mm, tickle, tickle, tickle. About where I would have expected him to land. Oh yeah, he's putting on the work today. Four for four, baby. Do you love this course? Right now, I still love it, but uh, it may change quick. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tap in. Oh yeah. I gotta get better at those. I, I never have the basket and frame when I do the self cam tap in basket this is one of the most beautiful holes in the course because you can actually see the basket simon what are you throwing hex, hex. good choice so bad is good. No. did it trickle out 70 footer oh yeah casey mid-range less going turnover fd1 Turn. Same as you, kind of. I think you're probably a bit closer. Simon's in Cash Money Town. Ooh, a little short. This is to get a stroke back. Poor birdie. Could not do it. Psycho. Easy tapping. Easy tapping. Cars. Still three strokes. All right, just to correct from the last hole, Simon's actually up four. He's four down. I'm even. Yeah. So. We're bad at math. Cool. Quite the comeback I have in front of me. Hole six, one of the hardest holes on the course. 370. Just up and over the hill. You just want to drift it left. Oh, yanked it. Oh, I can ask for is an open door. I need to make a 
a vlog shirt. The one tree to me. Like every time. Or a shirt that says, a tree kick is an open door. Here we go. Door is wide open. Turn, please. No turn. Not the greatest kick either. It's, it's better than hitting the tree Simon hit. Simon, go and walk about in the forest. Oh, good kick. A not ideal putt for par. And I think I'm similar range for birdie. And I need it bad. 90 footer. For birdie, you can see my disc on the left. Oh, that has a chance. It's got a chance. Oh my yeah. lord. Could be a two stroke swing. It should be. No, you just showed me how it's done. I'll do it next. We needed that one so bad. No chainer, too. No chainer. Si Simon for par. Come on, baby. What? Boom. What? That's clutch, folks. That's too clutch. I thought I was at least going to get within two. It's still a three stroke difference. What a par. Thank you. Cracked. Cracked. Nice putt. Three strokes. Let's go. This is um, arguably the worst hole on the course. Yeah, this is the line. The basket is like there. That way. Yikes. This one is a yikes. Oh, he likes it. I'm not oh, even. Oh, bad kick. That's par. No point in even zooming for that. No. Don't hit this first tree. You wouldn't be the first or the thousandth. Did he nail it? He peered it. What a shot. Silence is golden. Sidearm Tesla. We have a train going by, but I would just like to say all of this greenery right here across the rocks and created some moss. Massachusetts has been getting just obliterated with rain in the recent weeks. And I haven't been here for most of it. However, I am reaping the benefits of everything being very lush and green and there's nothing better than beautiful green grass to throw frisbees on even if it's in the middle of the woods that's mostly just rocks and roots and dirt but i'm hoping simon has some work left but we'll see le basket you ready for this le one? casey from oui. the vlog for the vlog it's called the vlogging logging That was a yank. Hopefully it didn't roll. If he makes this, I am in trouble. And I am in heaven. Yeah, keep going. Oh, no, he's joining me. Lucky tree. Let me tell you this. These are the itty gritty putts. These are the ones. These 22 footers uphill for par are the ones that separate the boys from the big guys. Big boys. <laughs> Isopoika. Isopoika. Nice. Two pars there, pretty standard. Up and over the hill to the right. It's typically like a flippy mid-range, but I'm gonna try and do a little, a little force turn FD1. We'll see. And now you didn't like it. Can't have wood on a course without stickers. <laughs> what? Right here. Oh, yeah. It's all stickered up. What? What? What kind of gap was that? That's a right side gap. Wow. All right. Good shot. This is a pretty common landing area. For the chumps. For the chumps. <laughs> Ah. At least you got metal, it looks better that way. Ah. Oh, little shrimp. Little shrimp, big shrimp. Off pace. That's such a good line I made it too. Oh man. 
couple of wimpy putts from us, but some ace runs coming in hot. Shortest hole on the course. My first ace of my career, Tomahawk. Beast. There it is. And now it's a putt. Way downhill. Way more downhill than it looks on camera. That's an psycho. Oh no. If I were to give Simon five putters on this hole, I'd expect at least one ace. Got a chance. Oh, just deep. All right, shot of the day. Simone Lazot. Turnover. Oh, turnover hex putt? Short. Skip. Oh, oh. That was not that short. Parked off a roll. My turn for funsy. Oh, okay. Turn He's throwing his whole bag on this hole. Turn over Tesla putt. All right. Oh. When this, this uh, hole has snow on the ground, this is the play. Because the Annie sidearm will just dig right in. Let's see it. This is called the funsy ace. No, it's got to drop. See ya. Oh, I'm bad at filling. Dang. Now this is to match Lazat in the most unlikely... Ah! Oh, sorry, I thought I was going straight at me. I can't believe I screamed. Cut that out, coach. Cut that out. Cut that out, do not cut that. Well, cut it out, maybe, maybe cut my neck. Yikes. Yikes is right. I'm still even, that's disgusting. All right, the gap is back to four, unfortunately. Oh yeah, stroke swing. Stroke swing on Arguably a musket birdie, but this is the kind of the jump putt longer hole. Or no jump, just stand still. Did it sit? Squeaked a little long. Makeable. Damn, this would be such a sick putt to I know, I've come close. Foot ace? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Is he going for the ace or is he going for the safe park job? I can do it. Oh! Hit the cage! You hit the cage like a I've, real master. I've never aced this one on the first shot before, but now... That means I you've never aced it. Just for this hole, that iconic jump putt ace. Okay. Iconic, funsy, jump putt ace. This is up. Skip. Skip again. <laughs> Cut. Cut it all. Simon going hex, hex flex, right field, foul ball. All right, mine, after hitting the cage, is absolutely parked. Simon, circle's edge, keep the margin a lead. Got the legs into it, scoops it in. Coach Broad, give Simon the slow-mo he asked for. Got the legs into it. Scoops it in. Wow. And I'm gonna tap in. I got some work to do. Hole 11, the other hole I aced in the course record round. Sidearm flick right up the gut. You got two aces that round? Yeah. And Simon is taking the ill-advised hyzer. There's literally one tree to miss. If I miss it, it's gonna be part or in. All right, let's see it. Oh my lord. I just missed it and it's just a bit high. <laughs> that is the best hyzer ever thrown on this hole. I do, my job. All right, my turn to go with the normal play. Normal? What is fun about being normal? Hopefully aces. <laughs> aces aren't normal. Are aces normal? Or are aces not normal? Ah, too high. That seemed pretty normal. Give it a run. <laughs> this is what happens if you throw it too high, but... Mmm, delicious. 
and I am parked. Oh, 12. Mando, T sign basically tells you way left. Four strokes, seven holes. Not ideal. It's got the good glide. I don't know, I'm not a local. It's probably straight long. Should we go for something a little more understable? On a ton of highs are here. I like that play. Perfect. Ace. No chain sound. I like it. I like it a lot. And the result. Casey MF super parked. Simon, probably cash money birdie. Cash money birdie. This hole is kind of more fun with only three dips. I agree. Because you don't have to make any choices. Even though I'm not playing the best round I've ever played on this course, which would be hard to do, I'm having a great time. And I use rounds like this to individualize my capabilities with one singular disc. Not just one use for one disc. Use it for everything. Use my understable P2 for a hyzer shot. Fun stuff. Just try it. Hole 13. A lot of trees in between you and the basket, but it looks like Simon's got the right idea. It's like a bend it out from the right to the left flex flick. Ooh, that has a good chance of hitting a tree and kicking out of bounds. Ouch! Br not OB. Brutal kick. It's not OB. Do it. Hit. Hit. Oh, just too far. Hit the line perfect. But 50 deep. Yep. Simon needs a this hope. Go very wrong. All right. He loves it. Oh, he almost threw it in. I'm very happy with no bogey so far. Money shot. This putt is called the Casey Wide Open. Ah. Missed. I keep failing to gain a stroke on this man. That was the most awkward feeling putt I've ever seen. You were scared. I don't know, because you wanted to be a ballerina. Mental game. It is a mental game. No problem. Pars. This is the hole I talk about when people ask what my home course is like. 310, but we probably can't reach this. Plays like five. If Simon had a distance driver, he could, but Tesla can get him circle two putt. Get up. That's par. No birdie. Long birdie. Ah, over right between ours is the golden zone. This is the long birdie Simon called for. Oh, wow, he rimmed it. That's a good bid. This is to gain a stroke. Long bid. Here ball, no bueno. I finally got under par, I'm three down. We got four to go, Simon is seven down. So it's time for me to get some stroke swings. I guess I'll try to get to nine or 10 at least. Nine is a good round. 10 or nine? I'm gonna go hyzer. Yeah, no, yep. Um, not so much on this one, that's one a po it's a popular play. Hex. Heiser. One, two, one tree to miss. He is celebrating, one. and you still have a birdie putt. I'm gonna make a teaser. Let's go. I like the forehand. I almost chose forehand. I love that. Chip in for me. Good line. Probably a little long, but. Parked. Every time it goes clean down that tunnel, I ain't complaining. Come around the corner. FD1. Circle's edge. Still looking for that FD1 ace. Simon right now is looking for a birdie putt to keep him on a good pace. Come on. I love when putts feel good. It's so rare recently. 
Coach Brad, can you put like a C R A C K E D across the screen right now? Cracked. Looks good. Putting looks good. This is to keep pace and stay four back with three to play. He has the rights today. And that's not even a gimme for par. I should have just dinged up my putting putter. The trend is changing. I used to lose every challenge and now I'm just dominating every week. That's because our vlog challenges used to be like a Super Bowl to me. That's right. They should still be. Good correction. The sign of someone who knows what he's doing, kind of. Kind of. Keyword. Shout kind of. out. Grenade hole. Hole 16. I go to the moon. FD1 might have a little bit of right movement on it, so I'm going to have to put some grenade hyzer on it, I guess you could call it, but Simon looked like he's putting it. You've ever played Team Challenge here and you play against one of the locals, you'll guarantee them are going tomahawk on you. It's a good line. No trees could mean pretty long, but we'll see. So typically on this hole, I'll go like splice or FD3, but since I got the FD1, I just gotta kinda chuck it like a flat, flat grenade. The flat grenade shot. Okay. Who knows? How many courses do you come across that? Oh, you have to have a full on staircase with a rope railing to make it down to the basket. Thousands. Devon's is very unique. Oi. I'm gonna say this right now, I'm not missing this one right. I think you might miss it right. Nice, that's the center and art. I didn't miss right. That is where we came from. And here we are on the green. Oh, yes sir. It's closing out strong. 18 is one of the hardest birdies on the course. So if you can get the next one and then par 18, I don't even know what you'd shoot. 10 down? 11? 11. 11? Yep. I don't think that's correct. I'm nine now. Yeah, and I said if you par 18. Oh, par, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see. I'm par a birdie. All right, he's calling birdie. But anybody who knows the hill, you can throw the best shot of your life on hole 18 and you'd be psyched with a par. Hole 17, uphill hyzer, same thing as a lot of other holes on this course. I've hit plenty of metal, never aced. Oh, here we go. Zach Taylor has aced this one, along with almost every other hole on the course. Shout out to Zach Taylor. The Devon's king. Come on, get up. Oh, he parked it. I think I hit the pin. Yep, you got up on the shelf. That's when you know it's money. money. Sweating a little in the woods. Nice little workout. Get the heart pumping. Get like the blood it. flowing. I like it. No. <laughs> oh, no All spit. Right. All right. We're getting back on track here. Very nice. Simon putting out his Wadham alone. That's a good dip. Yes, sir. No, you should play here more often. I threw this so out the preserve too. At the preserve? Yeah. I only threw like three mid-ranges at the preserve. No, I threw it like all the time. Really? You yeah. must just, you must use a mid-range when I use a fairway then. Or putter. Or putter, yeah. Hole 18 in all of its glory. Tough one, but uh, hey, get around. And still his box. So you're at 10 down. Yep. And I believe I am six, six down. Turn. Oh, oh, first kick was good. Second one hurt it. Crazy putt down the hill for you. Oh my lord. That's the first Omega Shank. At the perfect time, it still worked out. <laughs> All right, as we walk down 18 here, it's time to break the news. You're being a dad. No, I'm not gonna be a dad. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I am going to Europe. Oh. European Open and fireworks behind me. Uh, Are you sad I'm not going? Yeah, Simon 
you know, the one I thought that would give me the full tour of how to do the Europe trip is not attending. But that's all right, because I'll be more prepared for my second time around when Simon is there and we can really get into it and I won't, you know, be so nervous or uh, unsure about it. But just going to Finland for the European Open, I qualified at Portland Open for EO and basically my parents told me I didn't have a choice and they wanted me to go no matter what. So bought a plane ticket and going to Finland. First time ever, gonna hit up the Dismania headquarters in Finland and big exciting stuff, but you heard it here first. Hole 18 is quite the crazy one, honestly. Basket's way down there. This would be epic. That's a final highlight putt though. You got that right. I have only toed this hole twice in my lifetime. And they were, they were both in the last two years. For 11, nope, but it did sit. Tester. Tester for 10 down. Yep. Hex putt, twice our luck. <laughs> 10 down is actually a tie of the official record. Bob Kulchuk, shout out to Bob. He set it at Devon's League one night. It, the record used to be 47, and the same night I beat the record, he beat it by three. Bob Kulchuk, one of the hometown greats here in, oh, Northern Mass. Damn, I have a tester to match. Yeah, I'm filming Casey first. Oh, this is beautifully framed. Going Annie. What? That's what you call rejection. Ah! Well, I thought I made that, but here's a sad tap in dad putt. And Simon to finish with a good par. Never a bad par here on 18. I have a weird feeling about this putt. Uh oh. Am I in danger? No, oh, sir. Just high Look at this man. Hey, 10 down is my new personal best out here. 10 down is better than almost anyone's personal best out here. It's also the first ever scoring route I've played here with only three discs. Yep, three disc challenge. Three shot. Nice almost. Yeah. That was a, uh, a good round. I mean, I definitely could have done better, but definitely fun. Always good to be back on my home course and back to my roots, but. Let's, uh, let's head back to the van. Here he <laughs> is. <laughs> I mentioned him earlier, Zach Taylor himself. So, Zach, have you been on my vlog before? I don't think I've ever made the vlog. Okay, so I have mentioned you multiple times with Sasquatch mm -hmm. and here at Devon's. Zach, I think you have the modern era record for rounds logged at Devon's. I would say that that is like undefeated. Absolutely. Like, there's no way. Yeah, I have, I think I average like 250 rounds here a year between oh the hill and the God. general. Um, sometimes I do, uh, more than one in a day, but wow. normally I try to change it up. So. I used to average like 50 when I was around all the time. Now I thought that was a lot, you yeah. know. But um, how many aces you have on the hill? <sighs> I remember it took you like it took you like years of acing. You were already well into the double digits before you even aced at a different course. Yeah, I yeah. did. Uh, well, my first three aces were on hole 11 in my first year. Yep, overhands, um, right? Just overhands, yeah. which is stupid. Um, but. No, I mean, I've aced hole 11 now probably like almost 10 times and hole 9 probably the same and 10 so like I, 5. So I mentioned earlier in the vlog, hole 9, my first ace overhand. Yep. I was with Zach and Bob right here. Oh, they yeah. are the yeah. they are the witnesses. My very first ace, August 28th, 2015. And it's been a long, become a long way since oh, then. Oh, yeah. It, it was like a DX Beast overhand uh, or uh, something? Star Beast. Star Beast, Star yeah. Beast. yeah. That yep. was your go-to. But. Zach Taylor, everybody, go give him a follow. What up? Good to see you <laughs> Zach, longest person I've known in the sport of disc golf. We went to middle school together, so yeah. like 2011. I started disc golfing in 2012, way back. Wiffle ball in the backyard. Wiffle ball, oh yeah. <laughs> well, dude, good times here at Devon's. See you guys. Enjoy. It's yeah. present. Shot. This is from John Whalen. I get more presents? Do you remember? Your last round with Dismania? I don't know what that is. What is that? Cogs. Oh, Cogs disc. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. 
But do you remember your last round with this Mania vlog? Oh, this might be on eight. Oh, okay. John went out and got it with his RC car. Oh, that was on the ice. Yeah, it was on the ice. Wow. So, that's a shout out to John Whalen. I've known him for years, but. Disc retrieval on ice with a RC car and a little plow. And golden paper. That. That's... Thank you. Thank you. This is going to the collection, maybe even on the wall. On the wall. That's what we like to see. Well. Storage disc. Always, a, always good to have a happy ending on the vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That is going to do it for today's video. Another round in the books at my home course. And first round ever with Simon there, and he definitely took it to me. But three disc challenge, wanted to switch it up. I don't regret it. Pretty good shots today. Good Some shots. Ones, but mostly good. Coach Broad's gonna give it that little spicy magic. And nice. wow, this is probably, yeah, this is my last vlog before Europe. So big, big Are you vlogging in Europe? Time. Maybe not the whole trip, maybe just a couple here and there, but I might, I might do an overall one and maybe a couple in the middle but vlogs from finland coming at you next thanks to simon for coming out as always thank you for watching once again like and subscribe and we'll see you next time